Yeah, well, the different types of MS are a way to uh, categorize the MS or describe the MS disease course. And th there's no better or worse form of MS. They're just different in individuals, but it helps patients understand what the disease involves for them and also for doctors to perhaps um, choose the right choice of therapy for patients. So you, the most common form is relapsing and remitted, and that's a classical picture of MS where people have attacks where they have um, symptoms such as numbness or weakness which come for a few weeks or months even and then resolve. And they after say 10, 15 years often then become secondary progressive MS. And then there's a group of patients who are progressive from the onset of the condition. Now there is an emerging theory that the relapsing stage and the progressive phases are slightly different in the um, pathology of the disease in that one is about inflammation and one is about um, neurodegeneration or loss of nerve cells. But by classifying patients that enables us to um, uh, treat them appropriately. Well, there are um, three different types of MS, um, relapsing remitting, where um, patients have um, relapses and remit back, sometimes not back to the level of um, fitness they had previously, um, and these are treated with um, steroids or relapses, and patients with relapsing remitting, if they have um, two relapses within two years, can be treated with a disease-modifying therapy. And there's primary progressive MS and secondary progressive MS, which at the moment have no treatments at the moment. Um, there's a lot of treatments going through trial at the moment. But basically, it's symptom management and good symptom management and early recognition of symptoms for patients. Um, the main types, um, relapse remitting MS, um, which is what most people tend to be diagnosed with, um, and that basically has a pattern of generally across time of having these relapses or episodes that are rather like a flare-up where the MS tends to um, have a major attack on you um, and then starts to abate over time um, and a return back to previous levels. Um, then there is the progressive or secondary progressive MS, which has more of a gradual deterioration over time. The rate at which nobody knows, it's very individual and the pattern is not um, one that we can predict. Then there is the primary progressive MS, which tends to be a more rapid um, deterioration of ability over time.